Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Mears, and today I'm going to be reading you Goldilocks and the Three Hairs. This is the title page. It is written by Heidi Petak. I can't hold this pose much longer. When will the title page be over? Keep smiling. They'll turn the page soon. Put, put, putnam. Toss it, Grandpa. Ugh, gross it. Once upon a time, there were three hares that lived in a cozy hole in the woods. There was a great big papa hare, a medium-sized hare, and a teeny tiny baby hare. Hey, we're rabbits, not hares. I know, dear, but maybe the artist doesn't know how to paint them. Rabbits are cuter than hares. Hi, Denozo. Three hares? Oh, Denozo is going to help us read today. Denozo, move. Move, move, move. Thank you. Okay, back to the book. Three hares? Uh, three bears. Oh, I thought it was the tortoise in the hare. Yeah, read that one instead. Shh. They each had a bowl for their oatmeal. The papa hare had a great big bowl. The mama hare had a medium sized bowl. And the baby hare had a teeny tiny bowl. Was it awful smell? The oatmeal burned again. Why can't we have a microwave like everyone else? Yeah, I want to see an egg explode. Do you think cheese could explode? Sure. Kablam! Instant cheddar meltdown. Careful, or you'll see a parent explode. Not a pretty sight. I can't eat this stuff. Let's eat out. Sounds good to me. Yay! I want a soft taco and bean dip and burrito and a McCarrot and... So the three little hares decided to eat out for breakfast. Why don't we ever burn the oatmeal so we can eat out? Right! Let's eat at the Mouse of Pancakes! Off they sped in their van. Meanwhile, a little girl named Goldilocks came bouncing down the forest path. A pizza with mushrooms and extra cabbage. The three, rabbits is crossed out, hares, Denozo's back. Actually, it's my bowl that's bouncing down the path. Oops, not anymore. Hair has a lot of bounce. Why don't we call her Bouncy Locks? She peered down the hole, but she couldn't see her ball. Wow, what a hole in the ground this place is. Goldilocks, it's more like Nosy Locks, if you ask me. Let's tell the story of our laundry. We can call it Moldy socks and the three hairs. Oops, this hole sure is a doozy. Doozy? What kind of word is that? Who wrote this anyways? Maybe the author is related to the artist who can't paint hairs. This whole story is full of holes. Did you just say this story is full of moles? Who says I can't paint hair? Goldilocks's hair is great. Anybody home? Ooh, what's that awful smell? See, the story is about our laundry after all. No, the smell is coming from their kitchen. Hi, Waylon. The kitchen of the three hairs Goldilocks found three bowls. The medium-sized bowl, and the teeny tiny bowl. Mmm, three bowls of burnt oatmeal. You want a bowl? Sure, what you made you think of that?
Goldilocks tasted the oatmeal in the <coughs> big bowl. It was too hot. Yow! Then she sampled the oatmeal in the medium-sized bowl. It was too cold. Mmm, I skips. Hey, the illustrations are getting smaller with a lot of white space around them. That's called spot art. The artist is showing a spot of laziness. Laziness? You want to see more spot art? Now look what you've done. I got the measles. Weasels? Finally, Goldilocks tried the oatmeal in the teeny tiny bowl. It was just right. So she gobbled it all up. Mmm, burnt cinnamon raisin. My favorite. Weasels, run for your lives! Quick, up here, hide under the chair. Hurry, Grandpa. What? Me worry? I think I'll have breakfast on the run today. Then Goldilocks wandered into the family room and saw three chairs. A great big chair, a medium-sized chair, and a teeny tiny chair. First, she sat in the great big chair. A recliner! I've always wanted to try one of these. Give up. I know you mice are under there. How can you tell we're being as quiet as... Ugh. Shh. The great big chair was too hard to figure out. Wah! Snap. So Goldilocks hobbled to the medium-sized chair. This looks more my speed. What's that awful smell? Whoa! What hit me? The medium-sized chair went too fast. Whoever owns this chair is off his rocker. Hot! Hot! Finally, Goldilocks sat down in the teeny tiny chair. It was just right. Wham! Ah, this one looks just... Crash! Right. Look, the weasels are out cold. Cool! Let's time up. Then, Goldilocks decided to see what was upstairs. I hope they have computer games. Quick, maybe there's something upstairs that we can use to tie him up. Upstairs, Goldilocks found three beds. A great big bed, a medium-sized bed, and a teeny tiny bed. The weasels will wake up soon. Maybe we could sock them or shoo them away. First, she tried the great big water bed. It was too hard to keep her breakfast down. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. I hate sick jokes. I'm sick of them too. You really know, you know who's really sick? Yes, the ill a straighter. Next, Goldilocks tried the medium-sized bed. It was too soft. Ugh, I'm being smothered. Nothing to tie them up with under here. But there are dust bunnies the size of elephants. Tsk, tsk. Finally, she tried the teeny tiny bed. It was just right. It had better be right this time or I'll end up in the hospital. This chest is our last hope. Quick, prop up the top. Yo, he, ho. Soon Goldilocks was fast asleep. Yo-yos, we're saved. Yo, yo, heave, ho. He'll tie up the bozos with yo-yos. We'll throw them for a loop. Me 
Meanwhile, the three hares came home. Wow, looks like someone's broken in. Run next door and call 911. Here they come, get ready. As soon as the police arrived, they checked the kitchen. Keys, police to the rescue, we'll check everything out. Police, someone's been eating my oatmeal. Look, someone's been eating my oatmeal too. Someone's been eating my oatmeal and it's all gone. Yay! What are you doing? We're checking the kitchen. Checkers, anyone? Look! Next, they checked the family room. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Mine too. Mine three. Take a gander at this, Clarence. It's the famous mom and pop robber gang, the Goes family. The Goes family? Oh, sure, Pop Goes the Weasel. But who tied up the yo-yos? Oops, let me try that again. But who tied the yo-yos up? He <laughs> not. An undercover investigation of the beds revealed more. Officer, someone's been sleeping in my bed. Looks like some looks more like someone's been sick in your bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, and there she is. Well, if it isn't Sleeping Beauty Locks. Huh. Oh, wow, what a dream I've been having. But I'm here now, and you're here. Auntie M, and Uncle Henry, and little Toto, too. There's no place like home, is there? We're off to say the wizard. Is this your niece, Mr. Hare? We're not related. She's human. We're rabbits. Rabbits? The title says your hairs. Which is it? Sorry about the bed. I'll clean it up. And don't worry about Toto's chair. I'm handy with a glue stick. Would you like me to put it back together as a chair? Or turn it into a fort? I could come over tomorrow, Auntie M, and make French toast for everyone. French toast. Ooh la la. French toast? Can you make it unburnt? Sure. And with powdered sugar or carrots on top, whichever you prefer. I'd prefer cheese sprinkles. Let's go look at the place van. Well, that about wraps it up. Weasels are always getting a bum rap. Can you really make a fort? Sure, that's my forte. Uh, Goldie, are you available for rabbit sitting? I was thinking of going back to work as a hairdresser. How early could you be here tomorrow? Be sure to send us a postcard. Just how long have you been impersonating Mr. Rabbit? Oh boy, here we go again. Why is this page so white? Well, I couldn't think of a background, so I drew a blank. Well, look at that. There's the copyright information. I thought they'd forgotten it. It's long, but not forgotten. Did they copy it right? If they saved the jest for last, this must be the end. Not quite. Let's check out the back cover. Checkers, anyone? Okay, so on the back cover, we have eight mice upside down. And then a little, oops, there it goes. A little, I don't know if that's a termite or what, that says, oops. 
Look, we're in the title after all. Yes, but why is it on the back cover and upside down? I'll bet the author with the weird name did it. Yes, I did, and my name is not weird. It's pronounced P-Tac. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have enjoyed Goldilocks and the Three Hairs by Heidi P-Tac. Um, I'm hoping that this will post because it's 15 minutes and 34 seconds long. We will see. I will post my sample of a writing journal later today.